So this is day f five? Uh, four. Four. Right. Three was the fabric day. So now you have to go to the lodge and get another <laughs> the, the fabric day. Right. That's Hello, it. dear. How are you today? By the way, I spoke with Mr. Johnson, and he's Mom, living. do you ever do anything? Seems someone scratched up his price. Mom, that was so two days ago. You don't understand me! You know those firemen? Did the paperboy have a funeral or anything? Sense. Looks like they misplaced a bolt of expensive fabric. Of course, each one of them suspects the other. Looks like a cat fight is brewing. Congratulations, hero. You found Karen after all. Why does she seem so seem upset with that? I wonder why. I think your baby's you dead or stillborn over there. Her. Am I running out of time? The blood drive is coming soon. What does that have to do with anything? If you haven't joined the lodge by then, you'll find out. Still, I'm glad you found the poor baby. All right. She good. says Mr. Potsdam was responsible for what happened to her. What a silly little girl. Okay. Well, what a kidder. <laughs> Shame on you. Imagine Thanks, Mom. accusing your All future right. father-in-law of a thing like that. Is that how a range rider would behave? Range rider? Range rider? So. Who's that? Why Isn't that like a branded cheap condom? Even if he a is derivative a power ranger of some sort? An attempted murderer. <laughs> That's no reflection on what kind of father-in-law he'll be. All right. I it's just can't wait not? for the wedding. <laughs> Can you? Uh, yep, that would be a good time Don't for a bye. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Mom, about Jimmy. Mom, I'm moving away. <laughs> Mom, it seems I used my get-out-of-jail-free card prematurely. <laughs> yeah. I think I need about seven more of them. <laughs> Stephanie, I murdered everyone in town. Let's go. Yeah. Um, let Let's go to the Dishon store. Do you think that's an angel manning the counter there? Oh, we have a gun. Looks like it. We have a lot of stuff. Yeah. Oh, we got reward money. That's right. So, um... I want to see Steve having all of those things on his person. It said the game said this 1950s prices are cheap, so just take everything you want. Oh sure. Electrical tape, a wrench. That's it. All I needed. Wait, there was a deal on Charmin, according to that sign. Uh. <laughs> Steve is not a good shopper, is the thing. I uh, yeah. Right. Okay, anyway, back See, home. See, have you ever thought about just skipping town? Did you say hello to your father for me? <laughs> That's, I can't be mad at you, Thank Mr. Potsdam. Thank at least. Those Mr. Potsdam, I think you need to be put in a database. Incensed about losing some decorating stuff. <laughs> some people. Yeah. Yeah, right? Some people. Yeah. Not you. Flame. Yes, good one. Bye. So this game didn't do well. No! No! I mean, the more I watch, the more trouble I've seen. Why? Steve. It's so I'm so happy. <laughs> I get so lonely. We'll go outside. Here. I'm sorry. No, she's grounded. Want to oh, hear what's happening out in the real world? No. Until the wedding. I'd rather forget about Harvest for a while. Ah, the romance part of what the. Come here. Uh, uh, you got it. I will come over there. Stephanie. What? <laughs> okay. so I guess the moment was ruined. Why, why are they apart again? The only two people in Harvest. The only two real people. Do we need to do a retake? Did something go wrong? <laughs> yes. I need to feel something again. This sense I have that I've known you. It's my only link to my past. Oh, I love that game. Yeah. Maybe it's different from memory. <laughs> Steve the Charmer. Yeah. Maybe we don't remember yes. each other so much as we recall the feelings deep inside. Strong What did feelings. that book tell me to do Maybe in this the situation? Body has its own memory. Let's Should we talk remember. about your father? Oh, okay. Wait. I want you. Make love to me. Well, that was <laughs> All right. Well, well that was wait, fast. Or just right. separate. Then take me now. You got it. Oh my gosh, she got off the bed. Oh man, here we go. Yeah, Stephanie. 
Starter belt? Really? Okay, sure, hey. Uh, wait, what? what? Uh-oh. So Steve went behind the wall to watch her undress. If, yeah, okay, sure. Now here he is. Steve is an expert at taking the shirt off at this point. You know, it's awkward to have sex when you have to follow blocking in the script. Speaking of awkward, this is about the most awkward thing I've ever seen. Is that Mr. Potsdam? Yes, that is Mr. Potsdam, by the way. Great. Great. Uh, can we hold on one sec? Yeah. Recording. It's called Harvester. This is the one scene my wife walked in on, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I just love this game. <laughs> Hold on, I want more sex with my fiance. I'm glad to see you. Wait, did that even happen? I feel so alone, cooped up in here. Yeah. I was just here. You know the fireman? <laughs> I gave Someone you my. Uh, from we just we talked well, about this, Stephanie. About it. Why would fireman? Notice too, we're not telling her what we're doing this stuff. <laughs> Hmm. Only in Who cares? <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> we're, we're not telling her. We're not confessing yeah. about scratching the car, too. the fabric, and one other small thing. Well, I don't see this marriage lasting. To kill her outright, so he just decided to stick her in the ground and let fate take its course. Who? Who would do that to a helpless child? Remember she the guy watching us have down. sex, Stephanie? You know, their post-coital bliss is kind of depressing. And all this time I've been under the same roof with that... That thing watching me. Uh, Take speaking it easy, of, where's okay? the painting that he watched so, you from? At least they'll be coming to take him away, won't they? <laughs> Come back and visit me soon, okay? <laughs> Game over. <laughs> oh my god, and the fucking. <laughs> and the long play is not top of that. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Good gravy. <laughs> so, when you did a buy command for your <laughs> uncomfortable relationships, go to Harvester. <laughs> My wife's going to come down like, hey, did you put the laundry in the dryer? Bye. Did you really just say bye to your wife like that, your future wife? <laughs> That's kind of weird, Steve. <laughs> That's the next three tests on our list, Steve. The assignment is to break into the tonsorial establishment of Mr. Pastorelli and abscond with his prize. So is he just going to keep giving you RPG side quests this entire game? Yep. Lack of respect for authority. All right, good. Look at that, though. It's our second to last task. Steal the barber's pole, and then we're almost done. And then you get into the lodge? Yes. After doing one more thing? Yep. No, yep, yeah. Just two more things, and we're in the lodge. To me, at that point, I shall give you your final task. <laughs> okay. Bye? Oh, <laughs> night bolt is in the harvest. Hey, Twilight Tractor here. Hoping you're enjoying Harvester. <laughs> Do me a favor, get me out of this crazy game. I just saw Steve and his fiance do it. Well, I'll bye. Take, I'll take big rigs of that road to redemption bullshit. Whatever. Mm, great. Alright. Alright, this should be a tough side quest. First, we need our uh, electrical tape. Help catch me up here. What is Steve even doing again? He's trying to join the lodge. So he's just doing the mundane things. Yeah, he gets a new task every day, and today is to steal the barber pole. From the Steve, I have another misdemeanor for you to commit. <laughs> so we have to remember to turn off the barber pole, right? You know, obviously, we need, yeah. Don't want to get electrocuted or some shit. And we'll let's see. Where, let's see. That's in my shoe here. All right. Yeah. That's it. Mission accomplished. <laughs> I'm in the lodge. Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> now it's time for some more of the same. That's what you get for not honoring my haircut appointment. 
<laughs> Such a beautiful fucking lodge. Great lodge. Not even All really right. a lodge. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Got a little cheesecake before yeah. for the guys. Now All back right. to the... Now a little go. after show. Yeah. All right. There's Are that we... Steve Physique. Are we sure he isn't the male model at the fire station? <laughs> oh. He should be. That hairy belly. All right. Well, that red-faced guy just saw Steve take his shirt off. <laughs> and these four guys just slit their throat at the prospect. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't show me a burger. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, no. You know, Steve, I think you should be kind of used to it by now. <laughs> It's he's, the same damn thing every night. He's probably wondering, like, four times in a row, I need to see a therapist. Yeah, maybe something's wrong with me. <laughs> Should we be seeing smell lines coming from his shirt by now? <laughs> so, day five. Day five. This is it. We're almost in the lodge. Why does Steve want to get into the lodge? Besides that it's there? What else is Hello, dear. Do? How are you today? Granted. Did you hear what happened at the barber shop? Someone broke into Pastorelli's salon and took his antique barber's pole. It was Who'd the baby. The next morning, it was Pastorelli baby. touched some live wires that the thief uh -oh, that's around that. and was electrocuted. Uh -huh. Well, that darn foreigner got what he deserved, if you ask me. Coming into a nice little town like Harvest okay. and stealing um, business. Well, anyway, so we accidentally yeah, killed that guy because he got electrocuted touching the empty barber pole. Which guy? The barber shop owner. Their hair. That's how it goes. Well, fuck him, right? Because he's right, basically. Yeah. You're a communist. Isn't it exciting, Stevie? Whoa. Five days and 1,200 cookies later, the bake sale is already We're playing here. Cookie now? Where does the time fly? <laughs> Those are you a grandma? 1,200 cookies. <laughs> How many are you taking to the sale? Oh, about 20. The rest were stale. But the effort wasn't wasted. It's for a good cause. Will you be at the school tonight? No. Where? Kids never think of anything What if you do? Don't look in the you broom closet this when you're is there. For a good cause. <laughs> Mom, the baby's okay, right? Because that <laughs> crib is really small. I'm still noticing the baby has not changed position once. Gosh, hooties, what should we do? Leave them in the street? Gosh, hooties, what are you? But why do so many out-of-towners drop dead in harvest? I have wondered about Wait, that. Wait, when does that happen? And I think it has something to do well, with Well, today, I mean, there's nothing that was kind of our fault, really. Is the baby an out-of-towner? That's what I mean. <laughs> Big the baby's folks. still alive, by the way. I'm going to take your word for that. <laughs> Gets them every time. Don't oh, the, the baby is breathing. For Jimmy. Okay. You know how he gets. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so long, little brother who Just I can give a shit brother about. Right now. Yep. All right, let's go to this fucking lodge and get our last quest. What kind of mundane activities next? The object doll, imported Venetian glass, and Italian dreams. You <laughs> it's a barber pole. Who cares? An unfortunate side effect that Pastorelli was electrocuted because you left you alive. Once. Clear your throat once. That's that's clearly my fault. You know, I'm a little bit ahead of you. I did kill some kid before. Say la vie. YOLO! Yes, a barber cut down in his prime. Laugh track. Of course, you only <laughs> wanted the bowl. We'll be right back with more dads. But it hardly matters now. Your final assignment Here is go. to set a fire in DNA style. Can I ask a question about uh, why? <laughs> Where they may. Let the right. French fry, really? Well, it's... Yes. Oh. Arson's our final task, so. Beyond that, you must find your own answers. Members <laughs> of the Order must be. <laughs> and after all this, it turns out Steve was trying to join a completely different lodge from some crazy guy ran. <laughs> no, Steve, what the hell? <laughs> don't, don't trust Uncle Jimmy, as we call him. You know, I've never heard something more mundane with more gravitas than. Tonight, the make sale commences. This <laughs> will be the Order. It is prophesized. Your time in harvest. 
Whenever I talk like that, I rub my hands together. I don't know why. Thank you, Darth Cookie. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go back to the scene of the crime. <laughs> right. Her thing to do. Obviously, the police are rather busy jerking so off or whatever they do. Sliding off my hand, son. I'll cut you a nice price on it. Nobody I cares. I what found Pastorelli this morning. After he stepped in the water with the live wires hanging out, his body was so burnt his oh, arms the sheep. and legs was blackened. Hey, fused what's two together, for two, I guess. And the sheep was well done too. Problem ah, is, both was burnt That's the so real bad, crime here. And the flesh all crisp and distorted, limbs melded. You couldn't tell them apart. You're not doing a very good job at holding well, hands and I consoling each other. I didn't take a chance on eating <laughs> Italian. I'm missing. No, sir. I didn't. I tell you. Oh, jeez. The only Me. thing worse than a fire station full of sissies is a fire station okay, full of peed sissies. They're all accusing Look at what we did. We ruined everything. Look, Steve! Are you open or not? Boy, whoever <laughs> said fighting fire with fire be happy in harvest. Cause we got a fire station full of flamers. We know. We've heard the joke a thousand yeah, times. I've kind of gotten that idea. Alright. So what are you guys now, doing I'm here? busy with this game. But dang it if the whole the town ain't going to hell. All right, good. What are they playing? Try to flip the table? <laughs> is, that, is the one guy kind of sitting on the table there? A s half and half, yeah. It looks like he's not the, the sprite's not positioned quite correctly. He's half sitting, half levitating. Somebody stole a barber's pole. The alarm system triggered the sprinkler. Is everybody here like a CNN runner for the town? Like, we know the news. We're making it, also. Everybody's an eye reporter. Flip the switch and then stop. Maybe they're aliens. Good job on that automatic. So you're just not gonna wear a shirt under those overalls, huh? <laughs> well, well I, know, I, know, I know what I'd say to that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Good luck fixing your TV too, which somehow got broken. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, is there God, a you're... supernova constantly going off in the lodge? <laughs> oh. Hey, Did you say hello to Dad. your father for me. Thank guess, God for that, at least. Guess what? You know, no meat for you. Of meat in town. Oh, what no. kind of nutcase would steal a barber's pole? Oh, well. A barber's That's pole looks kind of like sausage. I'm hungry. <laughs> I turned from comic relief to really fucked up, didn't I? <laughs> well, bye. Thank you. Have fun fucking my daughter again. <laughs> I'll, I'll take a look. I'm glad to see you. I feel so alone, cooped up in here. Take shirt off. I understand that bake sale is today. <laughs> yeah. Who the cares about the this fucking bake sale? It's an important bake sale. It's insane. The maniacal attention paid to this bake sale. You brought it up! This came from the same cookie cutter. It's unnatural. Unhealthy. Like a cookie. Almost a parody of how Let's things get, should be. a little close to the nose, isn't my window it? at night. I see my mother throwing out whole batches of cookies. Like oh. an automaton getting rid of its surplus product. My so-called mother has been baking cookies all week, and then throwing Look, them Look, am I still a virgin or bad. not? I'm kind of confused about <laughs> last night. Wait around long enough. I have a feeling they'll get to it. I don't know if you heard or not, but Mr. Pastorelli, the barber... Steve's doing that thing where he's like rotating his fingers. Like, <laughs> Somebody I, I, stole yeah, a barber's yeah. pole from him, then left the exposed electrical wires and some water on the floor. Pastorelli walked in, flipped on the Look, lights. I really want to be in the lodge. Know anything about that? <laughs> no, not a thing. Mr. Swell came by. I heard him telling my father about it. He said it smelled like roast pork. Well, that is so Potsdam. What did your father do when he heard that? Here. Okay. <laughs> Come back and you are not good at ending conversations okay. with your fiance. <laughs> We're in love. Bye! <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Bye, house! <laughs> Bye, world map! <laughs> Bye, loading indicator! 
Okay, where's this? This is the mortuary. Right. Um, and there's a church in it. And the service is packed. Uh, red stains. Oh. Who's this? I think that's Pastorelli, the guy who was electrocuted. What are we doing? Uh, Steve, no, you do that to yourself at night, not other... Oh. Huh. So Wolverine invaded town. I don't remember this part. Oh, man. Parker, get me pictures of dead barber guy. All right, good. Bye, body. Bye. <laughs> so long, church. Take it easy, hallway. What are we doing with this fucking... A side exit. Oh, yeah, Abraham Lincoln, yeah, mortician We guy. really have nothing to say to each other. I have the feeling your innards shall soon adorn my slab. What? And I'd rather not know the face of the meat I'm slicing. It nice to see you too, I guess. Like some elephant's graveyard, people of low station come to harvest. Wait, I thought you didn't I like me one dialogue box ago. Dead, penniless, and they all need burials. Like Look, that enough of that. Chapel. Tell me why you need so many all cabinets. Up and nowhere to go. No mourners. No point. But I still must provide them with prompt burials by town charter. Uh -huh. And absorb the losses myself. Good talk, thank God you. God knows by putting these people up at the Wayward Hotel, I do more than my fair share. So why must I pay for the coffins and burial materials as well? I'm thinking of a certain three-letter word in all caps. Hopefully the bake sale. Anyway, your bio lab's gonna I come in any second now, so... bake sale and spend heavily. It's for the need. Everybody with the bake sale. Sure. And all they have to do to benefit is die. A ditch makes a poor resting place. You'll need to learn that. If you ever want to leave Harvest. Why would I ever want to leave with all these great bake sales you all tell me about? If I want to leave Harvest, I think I'll just ask for a refund. <laughs> Join the lodge, Stephen. While you may. Well, I'm working on it as soon as I pull off five April Fool's jokes. Chapel right now is a prime example of the difficulties I face. For unfathomable reasons, this Oh, I see. This is a completely different person, actually. Oh, there's a person Just like that. Indeed. He died of purely natural causes. Of that, I have no doubt. Purely natural causes, banking his career off of a successful harvester stint. Isn't that a... You could say his career was DOA. Yeah. I've often puzzled over the situation myself. Though I can assure you, young man, that Steve's just back out slowly as he sees this giant paragraph come in. It's an indication of our compassion that I put up. I just like it if he threw up his hands like ah. And the order of the Harvest Moon mandates their prompt burial, even when they are by or means, and when it entails losses on my part. There we there go. Is the Thank you. I'd yeah. say it's been a pleasure, but I find the company of the living so wearisome. Yeah, you have a magic <laughs> I, show in like five minutes. So. You find the comfort of the living so wearisome here in Harvester? Oh, How come? Weird. Photography, I see. Now, why on earth would you choose such a grotesque subject? That John Doe. Well, it's got like a few yards from you. He didn't just drop dead. Someone helped him take the plunge. And I wanted them to be there first. You may be right. He took the plunge into some claws. A medical examiner. You don't have to be to know that being ripped to shreds can be detrimental to your health. This is not. Well, he was kind of scratched a little bit. Too, young man. I wouldn't call that ripped to shreds. That's what we all want. What game right. are you people playing? A game we win or lose together. Look, are you going to tell me Mario you know, Party? Or do I go to the sheriff with these pictures? That would be a great. Look, I have to star in the Prestige. I've told you all I can. My losses have been substantial of late, so I can't offer you money. Oh wait, here we go. Good item. The only thing I can give you in exchange for the photographs is my tube of astro gloom. <laughs> I do. Suggest, well, thank goodness. For it's Sounds all you'll good. get from me. Okay. And remember, just a dot, a not a lot. When a wasp's nest is stirred up. It is seldom the wasps who grieve later. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I should ask the wasp lady about all the news around town. Definitely, yeah. We haven't seen her since day one, right? Good. No, we have not. <laughs> oh, Nightfall descended on Harvest. Oh yeah, by the way. <laughs> Hi, Twilight Trailer here. Forgot about nighttime. Kind of abrupt. My bad. <laughs> uh, there's nighttime. Yep. 
enjoy it. Uh, sorry for the one. delay, kind of behind on the schedule. Anyway, I hope we'll see you again in another game. All right. Does Twilight Trailer uh, Tractor ever get his own spinoff game? <laughs> Let's hope so. Mm-hmm. If not, I'm gonna make the fan game. Ever since Steve uh, caught them in the broom closet, they always have to have it open now for transparency. I don't remember Hello, the big sale at all. So nice to see you. Who is everyone? Uh. Mercy, what a Oh, this is the actress who plays our mother in a wig and yes. like a different outfit. Terrible. And she's all four of these women. Buy some cookies. It's for a good cause. This is a little creepy. A bit. Why, I never. Isn't that right, ladies? Yes. Never. I mean, there's nothing on the plates that I can see. What a good boy you are. Have a cookie. Uh. Derelicts and bums who want the Stepford sale. Bake Sale. Enough money for a decent burial. But. They deserve to be buried. It's the Christian thing to do. But you That's know, awful nice of you. But why do so many derelicts and bums die in Harvest? Oh, the, the mortician Don't kills them. Such a wise oh. apple, Steve. Wise apple. That wasn't like a plot thing, by the way. They just happened to. Someone oh. Someone has just burned down the TV station. On the night of our bake sale. Wait, we didn't do that. Huh? Did we do that? Is someone else trying to get into the lodge? Oh boy. It's Greek week, I guess. <laughs> well, it doesn't look burned down from the world map. Oh. Well, now it does. Oh, hey, it's the <laughs> mailman. Guy. I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep, <laughs> I've seen oh, what I need to see. I think I've seen everything. <laughs> well, while I'm here. Man, I'm hungry. Now's a good time to burn down that. Uh, Lodge. Now's a good time to tape the diner? No, that's our trick so the you know, the glass doesn't uh, shatter everywhere. Oh. Uh, Never mind. Okay. Uh, what about that? <laughs> I mean, the door was open, Steve. Alright, look, there's a smoke alarm here, so we can't just burn down the thing, right? So here's what we do. We're gonna take a cake cover from the top of the cake. Right. Right. Then, we're gonna combine our Astro glue with the cake cover. Right. And then we're gonna glue that over the smoke detector. Right. Right. Because there is simply no easier way of disabling a smoke detector. Right. Who the hell even thinks this shit up? Harvester. <laughs> well, that took up about a half of my inventory. Probably. All right. Just turn on the grease fryer with our axe. Oh, our matchbook. There so we Steve and Lodge guy were banking on all of this happening. I don't know. <laughs> that one I'm not sure well, about. That fire doesn't look very. Oh wow, that spread fast. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. I'll just saunter around there. Humpty dum. Carefully make your way home. Your task passes. is complete. This is somehow all going according to plan. Is he like leaning on that all nonchalant? Like, yep, two fires in one day. He is gonna fall out that window eventually. Good job, pledges! Being way too cash about this. Alright. I lied, we have like eight more things for you to do. Ah, uh, great day. So here's <laughs> a little something for the viewers. <laughs> Ah, oh, just a little yawn to show that I am indeed tired. I like to think Steve has like 40 of those shirts lying on the floor. <laughs> what is that blue thing exactly? It is... A belly? It's a very bad lava lamp. Wait, look, there's Steve shirtless if you look closely in the center there. I don't really want to, actually. Is that, is that new or have I not noticed that? Oh, there we go. My shirt! I don't have enough! <laughs> oh god, it's laundry day! <laughs> no. There's no laundromat here in Harvest. Man, killing the paper boy seems like the least offensive thing that's going wakes on. Up hit, wakes up his house is on fire. 